टुडे इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टू थिंग्स दट इज योर वट इज द टेक्निक्स वट इज द टेक्निक्स फॉर सैम्पलिंग फॉर वट फर्स्ट इज योर एस्टिमेशन ऑफ द इंसेक्ट पॉपुलेशन हाउ मेनी इंसेक्ट नंबर आर देर एंड हाउ मच डेमेज दे कैन कॉच दो टू थिंग्स विल डिस्कस टूडे सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज वट सैम्पलिंग टेक्निक फॉर टू थिंग्स दैट इज योर पेस्ट पॉपुलेशन एंड द डेमेज दे आर लाइकली टू कॉच सो टू थिंग्स आर देर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील ट्राई टू डिस्कस अबाउट योर एस्टिमेशन ऑफ इंसेक्ट पॉपुलेशन सो इन दिस पॉपुलेशन स्टडीज वाट वील डू वी विल सी द न्यूमेरिकल चेंजेस वेदर द पॉपुलेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग और डिक्रीजिंग एंड इफ दैट इज इंक्रीजिंग देन वाई एंड इफ दैट इज डिक्रीजिंग देन वाई दैट मीन्स वट इज द रोल ऑफ द एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर बोथ बायोटिक एंड एबायोटिक फैक्टर इन चेंजिंग द नंबर ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर पेस्ट और इंसेक्ट पॉपुलेशन so if we do such kind of studies then uh, we can understand the distribution pattern of one pest population whether regular random or aggregated whatever we have discussed in the previous experiment then how much damage they can cause okay then if uh, that is the level like etl level then uh, what methods should be done what uh, measures should be implemented okay and what are the responsible factor of climatic cadaphic or biotic factor are there for that population change we can understand so three type of population estimation is there what are those one is your absolute estimates second one is your relative estimates and third one is your population indices okay absolute estimates relative estimates population indices again in this absolute estimates three sub categories are there like your quadrat method line transect method and capture recapture method so first one is absolute estimates that means how many okay that means total number of insect present in an unit area unit area in the sense it may be acre it may be hectare it may be meter square whatever unit area you are taking so what to do the number per unit area of the habitat that means per plant how many are there per shoot how many are there per leaf how many are there per twig how many are there like that we have to calculate okay as the term is absolute population that means absolutely we have to take the population measure per unit area how much is the population that means some density you are calculating population density okay and by analyzing these things we can know the uh, pattern we can understand population pattern then uh, how the environmental is uh, factors are playing the role what is the key mortality factor that means are the factors which brings mortality death to the insect which are major factor okay in this absolute method again that is subdivided into three types first one is your quadrat method so as you can see suppose this is a big area suppose this is the whole area this is the whole area this is the whole area so what is quadrat a small quadrat a small portion so you see suppose this is a whole field here the a quadrat is kept again in that some small small blocks are there so what we will do we will choose some particular quadrat a small area from a large area from this quadrat what you need to do we have to relatively count the number of population that means suppose at meter square this much may be the population so in whole oh, 10000 meters square what will be the population like that we have to calculate okay but whatever the things are there in the quadrat in the small area that thing you have to take absolutely it should not be relative after taking the absolute estimation of the quadrat then we can relatively check the whole area absolute area but absolutely you have to take the population of the particular small area that's why the area is differentiated into a small area okay so from a quadrat the insect can be counted and collected directly and the number can be correlated directly with the field population i hope you understood these things okay so the reliability of this estimates made from this method depend on what how representative the quadrats are like A quadrat should not be having the highest number of population. A quadrat should not be having the lowest number of population. It should be intermediate. Then only your data will be somewhat okay. Okay. And second one is what who is taking the uh, work. That means how close one gets to count the number. That also differentiates. Yes or no? It will uh, change from person to person. That means what uh, derive its probability of correctness, effectiveness. First is the quadrat you have chosen that should represent it. it in a proper way 
that means you see uh, it's not like uh, somewhere where the population is very high or it's not like somewhere where the population is very low not like that it should be intermediate then only your some average calculation data will come and if you just go for integrate that one then you can have a absolute measure otherwise your uh, method uh, will be wrong one second is what line transact method so here you can see okay a whole plot big plot is taken in that some line has been drawn in this line what will happen one person will move and in this line whatever the paste whatever the insect are coming in contact with you coming in across you okay within a different definite range those will be counted absolutely so here you can see the theory in this method a person will walk in a straight line here you can see in a straight line in a straight line in a straight line okay at a constant speed he has to maintain a uh, specific speed not very slow not very high at a constant speed he will move okay through a habitat in a unit area and the number of individuals encountered can be counted and you have to very keenly count the how many number of insect are coming across you the data based on such encounters can be used in estimating the absolute population of locust and grasshopper that means you see if you are moving in a field what will happen to grasshopper and locust very swiftly they will move once the plants will be disturbed at that time what you can do when they are jumping at that time you can go on counting no at this point this much this much this much this much one two three four five like that you can go on counting so in your line whatever the insect are coming across you you have to count on them that is what your line transact method okay so the number of encounters is influenced by the speed of person how speedly are moving if very slow you may miss some of the insect if very high speed you may again miss some insect again your counting may be a problematic one second the speed of individuals comprising the population the distance over which they can be perceived that means you see the counting method differs from person to person okay so while you are at a particular pace at a particular speed and how relative you can see the insect sometimes it may miss out of your sight okay from which distance you are able to count the insect you are able to visualize or mark the insect that is also depend on the efficiency of this particular tran line transect method okay and as a third one the density of the population under studies what is the density suppose in your line very less population is there as compared to the field then it will be a wrong one yes or no so your line should be in such a way th with that not very high population not very low population it should be intermediate now coming to the third so here you can see the person is moving in this line so he will count only those periphery or in this line animals only but this one this one will be either on observed or that is out of their sight okay so only these uh, three four will be observed by the particular observer one capture marking release and recapture this method you see suppose grasshopper is there some aphids are there some other insect which are very immobile in nature that means within the plot they will move not far away for them this uh, absolute method like your quadrat method line transact method these things are possible but suppose some insect like your this locust you can take or butterflies you can take or birds you can take what will happen to them they will move a very long distance okay because they are poikilothermic to survive they need to migrate to other places in the unfavorable climatic condition so for those flying insect flying pests okay this line transect method quadrat method are not that much effective what is effective this capture marking release and recapture technique what is what do you mean by that you see suppose this is a whole area and here some insect are there of a particular species capture them capture all first point is capture all second is what marking put some uh, tag on them or just uh, make a hole on their elytra such kind of thing marking you can do on the insect you have collected the insect as much as possible captured second is you have marked all of the uh, individuals second third release them now release them in the normal uh, environment then what you can assume if you are releasing the population may be added which are not marked or the population may be reduced you have marked but now they are not present in the particular habitat 
Yes or no? After you release these things will happen. So what is the next step? Recapture. Now while recapturing after a specific unit time period, you have to see whether this is a loss of the individual, the population or gain is there. Yes or no? Such kind of things you can assume. Okay. Here some of the things are there uh, for the effective application of capture recapture techniques in a population estimates. Some following term and conditions are there. What are those? The marking of individuals should not lead to change in their behavior. That means suppose what you have done. Suppose a butterfly is there. You have make a, made a hole on the wings. What will happen to them? They cannot fly properly. This is not a method. But in case of Coleoptera, their elytra is hard. That is not useful for flying. Nothing in use only for protection. At that time you can make a hole. It should not change their behavior or physiology or longevity. Yes or no? And the mark should be persistent. It should not get lost easily. Yes or no? Then the second point is what? The marked individuals after being released becomes completely mixed up with the unmarked individual of the population. That means it should be distinguishable. Whatever the mark you have given, it should be distinguishable. But it's not like that the species will be different. Like your butterfly was blue, you have made it red. Not like that. Huh? Otherwise, what will happen? Their life cycle will be somewhat hampered. Yes or no? Okay. That means you have to do in such a way that you can understand, but the insects should not uh, differentiate among themselves. You should know that one, but they should not. Yes or no? Next point. The population is sampled randomly with respect to its mark status. Okay. That means randomly you have to sample, not like uh, absolute or line transect. Okay. Randomly you have to just go for population sampling. Okay. And if the mark is there, just simply you go for recapture. Then last point, the method of marking should be such as to distinguish between different dates of capture. That means you see, you have collected 10 insect today, 12 insect tomorrow. It's not like that 10 plus 12, 22, not like that. 10 means today's day 10, like that you make the tags. You make the levels tomorrow those 12 insects their level will be somewhat different only change in dates will be there those things should also be marked in those insect why why means what you see you can understand that no on monday i have released this much of insect which are marked on tuesday i have released this much of insect which are marked so after how many days this monday insect are coming after how many days this tuesday insect are coming or they are coming at a time what is the scenario some more specific study you can do if you maintain the dates yes or no so these are the torment condition for capture recapture method okay if someone is asking don't tell capture marking release and recapture you can simply tell capture recapture method so it is again two types first is your group marking method and second one is your individual marking method what is first group mark that means at a time you collect all the insect and at a time you make or just mark the insect okay that means you see these are the most important prerequisite in the techniques because you have to mark that one first you capture then recapture okay there should be no influence on the longevity the torment condition we have discussed yes or no then some of the example like what are the things are used in case of marking like your paints and solution of dyes okay different color of paints can be used on the uh, insect like your moth locust grasshopper beetle and many other insect then fluorescent pigments with gum arabic glue so that they can stick to the insect okay that is that can also be used then second is what dyes and fluorescent substance in powder form just like your hairy insect like your honeybees you can take or your uh, moths which are hairy uh, okay in those insect what you can do the hairy insect can be marked by dusting them with this various kind of powdery dyes third one is your levels okay what is that the locust and the butterflies okay how they can be marked simply by attaching some levels or tags on their wings then coming to what mutually lesson what is that clipping the wings of the lepidopterans or damaging the elytra of beetles by incising the edges or cutting small holes are some of the example mutilation that means some minor damage you are giving to the insect which is not hampering the insect physiology or life cycle that is what your mutilation last one is your what radioactive isotopes okay there are two methods of marking with isotopes first is some levels can be attached outside the body surface 
second one is they will be fed by the insect and they will enter into the midgut of the insect or inside the body of the insect and they will be stable there whatever may be the situation either you outside you do or inside of the insect you do wherever the insect will go you can use these radioactive isotopes for simply fed gps system yes or no you can follow those insect where they are going yes or no okay for example this cobalt or uh, tantalum you can use okay these are widely used in recapture studies the mark individuals can be detected by this use of zeser muller tube or by auto radiography the frequency where they are going how they are growing what is the movement how many days they are taking all of these things can be recorded by this auto radiography or this particular instrument used this is what group marking what is individual marking method here individuals will be marked singly and they provide good information on the longevity and dispersal of the mark individual that means in group marking method generally your migration immigration okay uh, those things will be immigration immigration things will be uh, used okay but in case of individual marking method what will happen here some small labels will be taken okay which may be attached to the wings or by having a combination of spots in various position on the body and by the use of different colors same thing okay but group marking means in a group they will be marked and individual marking means only one insect will be marked they will be released they will be captured they will be whatever the process is there yes or no capture mark release recapture those things will be studied so now coming to the second one in absolute estimates uh, we have completed three things quadrant method line transect method and your capture recapture method now coming to the relative estimates here what will happen some traps will keep in the field that means some representative will be kept in the field to those representative those insect will be attracted and whatever the in the representative whatever the insect will be captured according to that relatively we can estimate that no in the field this much of population is there okay that means here the population will be measured in a indeterminate uh, determinate units like your traps and then it can be it can make some comparison how okay you see just like this hand nets huh like suppose you are sweeping in the field per hour you have uh, sweep for uh, suppose 10 times in 10 times how many insect are coming if in 10 times in a uh, hour this much insect is coming so in a whole day how many insect may be there this is what relative estimation so you see here huh, pitfall trap here suppose in a night suppose two number of insect are coming into the field or 10 number of insect are coming into the field so what is the relative estimation so in the field this much number may be there some rules are there for that similarly light trap suppose in night in light trap this many number of insect are coming suppose two suppose ten two situation two means population is less ten means population is high yes or no everything is comparison relative similarly in case of your uh, you see aquatic habitat like this we can do even for fish also we can do such kind of kind of things relative estimation similarly here huh, a screen is provided whatever the insect will come and fall down in this water structure pan okay from that also we can go for relative estimation yes or no so many uh, traps are there like your sweep net and uh, this one then uh, your flight aquatic traps this one okay pitfall trap this one then your light trap okay this one like this different kind of uh, traps which is known as what your indeterminate units from those you will calculate some accurate data which will be relatively assumed to be that of the whole field that's why it is known as what your relative estimates the last one of estimation of population that is your population indices that means what is that what is this exuvium what is this ant holes yes or no grasshopper nest this is not grasshopper nest anyway okay and this is the in case of spittle bug okay so here you can see what i am telling here exuvium is there means that is representing the insect here ant hole is there means that is representing the black ants okay here this uh, spittle is there the uh, fume is there that means spittle bog is there here the excreta is there that means some insect are there like your lucinors or monalis maybe okay like your you see some nets are there that means the, those larvae are there this kind of structure is there that means some eggs are there this kind of things is the leaf is uh, somewhat what webbed yes or no folded yes or no that means some leaf folder or leaf wherever is there 
yes or no this is also you see inside this they will be there okay so by using some kind of by product it may be exuvium of the insect it may be nest of the insect it may be protective structure of the insect it may be excreta of the insect it may be exit hole of the insect it may be webbings nets of the insect or whatever or the damage symptom of the insect we are understanding this insect will be there yes or no okay so this is what your population indices by using some kind of indices like your exuvium the nest okay uh the way they uh, make holes in the in the plant okay the way they make damage to the uh, field or the plots or the plant okay accordingly we can go for population estimation this is known as what your population indices